they get it. You're gonna turn it over? No, at some point, I might. But at some point, I hope they get it, because it's, it's a fantastic financial statement. It's a fantastic financial statement. And uh, let's do that over. He's coughing in the middle of my answer. Yeah, OK. I don't like that, you know? Like my, your chief of staff. If you're going to cough, please yeah, leave the room. Just get a shot of, and I'll, yeah. I'll come over here. Just, just can't, you. you just can't. Just to change the shot. Okay. Sorry. OK, do you want to do that a little differently then? Yeah, or? we just changed the angle. Okay. Yep. Thank you. At some point, so at some point, I look forward to, frankly, I want, I'd like to have people see my financial statement. Well, it wasn't well, quite Chris and Bale, but, <laughs> I mean. I mean, the contempt yeah, was on purpose. Sorry, Mr. Trump. What was on purpose? He coughed on purpose. He didn't want him to continue talk going down that financial, you know, my, you know the beautiful and. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm so sorry, Mr. Trump. You saw the flash of the president's temper, though. That, that is how he you know, often deals with staff. A number of his aides will say he can turn like that if he do something he doesn't like. It's also, he's obviously very mindful of television. And also, don't cough later. Yeah. <laughs> don't cough later. Right? Cough, cough. cough. That's what I do, and I want you to be quiet. He does. You Sometimes I just table. hit you. I mean, the contempt in his voice at that moment. I mean, can you imagine being on his core yeah. staff and having that turned on you all day? I'm not surprised people around him leak all the there time. There you go. Just you got to treat your people here. well. Well, this is, I think this is actually the big story of the day. The U.S. is ramping up digital attacks on Russia's power grid in an effort to deter future cyber activity by the foreign adversary. The New York Times reports the campaign was conducted under new cyber authorities granted by President Trump and Congress, citing <clears throat> current and former government officials. Two administration officials tell the paper they believed... Trump had not been briefed in any detail about the operation, while Pentagon and intelligence officials, quote, described broad hesitation to go into detail with the president about operations against Russia for concern over his reaction and the possibility that he might countermand it or discuss it with foreign officials, as he did in 2017 when he mentioned a sensitive operation in Syria to the Russian foreign minister. After the New York Times published that story, President Trump accused the paper, the paper, of engaging in treason. Okay, so he's saying that <laughs> A true story by mm -hmm. saying there was treason. Okay. Right. There's a lot of. There, we okay. should go over the definition of treason. Yes, Trump lashed out. Yes, we should. If anyone is. Well, I never watches, but he does. Trump lashed out uh, at. Uh, the, in a pair of tweets on Saturday night, writing, quote, do you believe that the failing New York Times just did a story stating that in the United States is substantially increasing cyber attacks on Russia? This is a virtual act of treason by a once great paper so desperate for a story, any story, even if bad for our country. He also called the story not true, adding anything goes with our corrupt news media today. They will do or say whatever it takes with not even the slightest thought of consequence. These are true cowards and without doubt the enemy of the people. The Times responded to a Trump in a statement writing, quote, Accusing the press of treason is dangerous. The paper also said it had described the article to the government and spoke to his own national security officials, and there were no concerns. So, Jonathan, uh, obviously the president first says it's treasonous, suggesting that the story is true, right. then comes back and says it's yet another, another lie. Um, uh, but obviously, so many concerns here. Yeah. Uh, the main one that the Pentagon and Intel officials, for good reason, understand that when they're running operations against Russia, it's dangerous to talk to the President of the United States, who has long said he trusts the word of Vladimir Putin more than his own military intel officers. Right. I mean, there's a concern here that the president himself is a national security risk in terms of being potentially leaking information to a hostile foreign power. Going back to what we said last segment. There are people in the, in the White House. No, there are certain subjects you can't bring up with him. Russia at the top of the list because he's either going to do to, to, uh, a claim that it's some sort of connected to the election. 16 and delegitimizes his victory, or they will feel that he will side with the Russian government over the U.S. intelligence agencies. Certainly Helsinki is the most vivid example of that, right. but it's something he has done time and time again. Yeah, and I would say concern that he's a national security risk is, is not something you need to say so carefully. He is. He stated so himself by saying that.